Osiris, form up. Everyone ready? Actually, Tanaka, if I could ask a favor, would you say a word or two? Come a long way together. A long way yet to go. Let's make a good jump like we mean to. And handle fools like we need to. 90 seconds to insertion point. And may buck by the first round when we get back. We get through this. I'll buy the whole damn bar. Fire team Osiris. The light is green. Hello everyone, my name is Rob, I'm from the Insane Gamers, this is part 18 of uh, Halo 5 Guardians. This part of the level is called Fall of the Covenant, and unlike the others recently, this has actually been split into two parts, because there's actually two, uh, two parts of the level. The level is actually called Battle of, uh, Battle of Sunnian, or Sundian, I don't really know how it's pronounced. It's S-U-N-A-I-O-N, -N. so, you know sort of covenant name and it's sort of difficult to pronounce. Um, also it seems to be lagging a bit on my computer which is completely, you know, I don't think the actual footage is laggy, I, it's just the computer because I have everything set as, a, as best. In fact if I set it to preview I guarantee it will be fine. Yes it is, it's not even lagging anymore. Um, just you know the graphics card's getting a bit old and at some point I am going to fix that. Uh, you need to blow them up to destroy. Well, you, well, you don't. You can actually destroy the uh, the turret themselves, but that is, we really need a huge weapon to do so. Um, this is the level that they showed off at E3. I was going to say 2015. Was it E3 2015? It's on the trivia page of this. I remember it. I remember seeing it, but uh, I can't remember if it was E3 2016. 2015 or 2016. Um, but actually, when did this game? When did Halo 5 release? Was Halo 5 2015 yet? Um, E3 2015, I'm sure. Was Halo 5 a, a 2015 game? I'm just going to check the, the box here. Um. Copyright 2015 Microsoft. No, nah, I can't. Halo 5 can't be 2015, right? Oh shit, it might be. Yeah, because I ended up. Yeah, 2015. Okay, that. Wow. God, that passed. That passed really quickly. Um, I always thought this was a 2016 game for some reason. Uh. Yeah, that was it. It came out and I was like, oh, I'm gonna buy it, but, like, when I need to do the Let's Play, because it'd be cheap then. Still isn't really that cheap. Xbox One games, for some reason, do not go down in price. Neither do PS4 games, you know? Like, I mean, the launch ones are. The launch ones are, like, 10 quid, but, like, even sets so games that came out in 2013. So, like, this would be, like, 30. And I know that's not, like, a lot of money, if you think about it, but... Still, I remember PS2 games, like, nine months after the thing came out, after the game came out, they'd be in, like, the <laughs> game... Wow. Actually, to be fair, that might have been due to competition. I just realized... This is completely irrelevant for people that aren't British, this conversation. But they, uh, they used to be... Well, there's Granger Games, although that um, is now called Trade Nation for some stupid reason. I don't know why they changed the name. Uh, but, yeah, so there's Granger Games which was only like a north eastern well a northern company but I live in the north east so yay um that's why <laughs> that's why I knew it uh, of it before it came up there's also chips which chips doesn't exist anymore I don't think um at all 
Tips was also a northern company. Anyway, so the main ones that were everywhere across the... That's lagged to shit for some reason. God, that went really bad on the screen for some reason. I mean, I guess there was a lot of stuff happening in the game, and the graphics card was like, I don't know how to keep up uh, previewing it for you. I'm going to have to check that later to check that my audio is fine. But, yeah, the, the main national ones were Game and Game Station. And then Game bought out Game Station. But they used to have a whole bunch of amazing offers um, when it was when they were competing with, with each other. Like, I remember a PS2, nine months after a game came out, it was in the four for 20 quid, like, bin for pre-owned. And even now, like, if I, were, if I was to buy, it, this game like came out, Halo 5 came out two years ago, yeah? So, like, if, I'm, I was in game the other day, because I was looking at the price of Xbox Live Gold. Um, because I need to do it by the, uh, si uh, by the 16th, so, um, on Thursday I'll be getting it, but at this moment in time, I'm still on my uh, on my old subscription to it. But I was in there, and like Halo Five was pre-owned was thirty quid. I was like, I I miss the old days of of PS2 when games were cheap. And I know games nowadays, they cost so much money to make. But if you think about it, if you're buying a pre-owned game, none of that money is actually going to the developer. It's all going to the store for overheads and stuff. And, uh, well, I can't actually reveal that information. I was going to say something there, but I can't because it doesn't technically exist yet and I don't want anyone nicking the idea. <laughs> Let's just say it's a TV show idea that I've sent to uh, some companies, and uh, I had to do a little bit of research behind the scenes of uh, game stores for to pitch it. Well, I said pitch it. <laughs> I didn't really pitch it to be honest. I wrote a script. It's a sitcom. I can't believe I'm telling you this because I'm technically not allowed. To. Well, I have to be very careful, basically. Um, Wow, I got knocked out there. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, it's a sitcom, and it involves games in some way. And one, of, well, in one of the ways that it does is a game store. And now I need to sneeze. So what I did there is I just stopped the uh, the recording because uh, you know I don't I didn't want to sneeze on camera. On camera, on voice. Uh, I feel like I need to sneeze again. I'm not going to stop it this time. I'm just going to let it go. But... Uh, it, God, it feels so weird recording in this room right now. Uh, the reason you got Watch Dogs yesterday, I was intending this to be out yesterday because I recorded it and everything. And... Last week, my parents... Well, yeah, my parents were off from work. They, they had like their week off and uh, I found out when that was and I uh, I put in my uh, my week off around the same time and I got the same week and well why am I going into this information I don't know um, but yeah we got the same week off and um, I said oh because I've mentioned this in a few Halo videos before. Um, my room, the wallpaper's been off the wall for ages. But uh, the carpet wasn't. The carpet wasn't off the floor. And I was like, you know, I promised you guys I was going to do a room tour at some point. Um, but that has not happened. Um, until this room gets redecorated properly. And I was like, you know what? The wallpaper's been off the wall now for about a year. I am... We're getting this room redecorated. So... I said, you know what, on the week off, we're going to take up the carpet off the floor. So I spent all last week... Recording a whole bunch of stuff. A whole bunch of, like, pre-recorded stuff. You know, you had... Uh, what, what was the beginning of... <laughs> what day was the beginning of last week? The fourth. 
and no, the third. Yeah. So we had a uh, we had Watch Dogs Part One and Watch Dogs Part Two, um, which I just put out there because I said you know I'm going to put them out there. Uh, then we had the the two games, the gold games. Then we had a uh, Ratchet and Clank, uh, and then we had Watch Dogs just then. So I pre-recorded basically making sure I had a few days. And, uh, well, we didn't pull the carpet up. We decided to do it yesterday, which was uh, Monday, because I record these obviously the day before you see them. Uh, well, I don't. I don't want to. Um, it's just that ended up with this one because I uh, I ran out of, you know, videos to pre-record that I'd uploaded. Pulled the carpet up now, and that took all day and literally everything in the room had to be moved and then the carpet had to be lifted up and then everything had to be put back and you won't believe how much shit is connected to this computer honestly there are 12 USB ports in this computer well there's four in the actual actually no bloody hell there's 16 there's <laughs> yeah there's no nah, these aren't fine does I can't remember it. <laughs> honestly for some reason I'm like is that the right number yeah it's probably about the right number basically there's a lot of USB ports in this computer because I have a USB hub connected to it and they are all being used apart from the two front ones um, but they get used often with USB sticks and stuff so uh, and charging phones and stuff via USB, so I guess they are still technically being used. Have we gone past the edit point? No we haven't. There's a bit where I died and I've edited it out and you, it, it's a bit of a jerky edit but you know, what are you going to do? That's actually the uh, the weird thing. The, the BBC fixed it recently and no one did, but if you're watching this, let's be honest, you probably you probably don't care about television. Like, a lot of the time now, I don't watch a lot of stuff on TV anymore. When it's on, anyway. Which is a bit sad, because, you know, I'm like, oh, I have this idea for a TV show. Yeah, I'm not going to watch it when it's on, I'm going to, like, literally record it. <laughs> I, I don't really care about schedules anymore. Like, back when I was a kid, it was, you had two hours or so in the morning, whatever, when kids' shows were on, and then you had two hours in the afternoon when kids' shows were on. And, I mean, yes, there was digital channels, and technically I had access to that, but that was only downstairs. So, like, it wasn't in my room, so when my parents wanted to watch actual, you know, actual programs that they wanted to watch, they got that. Um, they had control over the TV. So basically, my life did, my TV watching life did result around that schedule. But now that you have like uh, PVRs and stuff, I love the fact that I keep running into enemies. That's brilliant. Like, I have this stupid thing where I'm like, you know what, I don't need to look at my health. I can just run in there because I don't need to die, I, I won't die anymore. Like that's the one issue I think I've realised with, I mean I did it with the other Halos as well, but I didn't do it to this extent. I never like, was like, oh well I don't have to worry about enemies anymore because the the guys will back me up and revive me. But yeah, I don't, I don't really care about schedules anymore at all, it's sort of weird, I just I can't believe I almost died there, by the way. Yeah, um, I just record stuff and then watch it later. And a lot of people now, they just they don't even record stuff. They just watch it on Netflix and torrents and stuff. I mean, let's be honest, if this TV show that I want to do comes into, like, if it actually happens. If people torrent it, honestly, I don't want them to torrent it. But it works well for Game of Thrones. Like... Game of, Game of Thrones, there's about half the audience for it torrents it. 
and the merchandise sells really well. So that's why they technically allow the torrents. Well, they don't. They don't technically allow them. They take them down sometimes. But basically, that would be my uh, what I would agree with. Basically, you know, if the TV show. I mean, I'm not. I don't think I'm going to be a producer or anything. I'm just literally just going to be a script writer. But uh, oh, he, yeah, there was the uh, the edit point. Um, I was basically fighting uh, one of the elites down there, and they sort of pushed me off the edge because there's water. So I kind of use that against them, actually. My god, that is laggy, but it won't be on the actual video. It's just so weird why that... Why it sometimes lags? I don't... I don't know what it is. See, I just pushed all the uh, enemies off the, uh, off the edge now. But yeah, I... I schedules, I don't care anymore. What was it? What, how did I get on in this part? Oh, yes! For the people that do care about schedules of the people that still watch actual scheduled TV, um, I was getting into something about lag, wasn't I? Um, that's what I was going to start the conversation on. The BBC, they basically, until recently, they have like the coming up next uh, bit that plays during the end credits. And as much as I do hate that, I mean, it does technically serve, but we're saying we're not going to get rid of it at this point, so I don't care. Um, the credits for the show, they're going to conform with all the guidelines and stuff like that. Um, I don't care uh, about it, to be honest. But, <laughs> what I'm basically trying to say is, if you watch, if you watch any BBC programme, actually on a BBC channel, um, until recently, until about a couple of years ago, well, yeah, about two or three years ago now. That's what I mean by recently. Um, when the credits started, the bit where it... Because I believe in American TV, the credits get pushed over the side and the coming up next information comes up on the side. And that happens over here now. But it, what it used to be is the BBC used to shrink it into the corner and put a giant thing around it, but the problem was, was that when they were, oh, I hate these bloody hunters here, god, they took a while to kill, anyway, let's just go back into that conversation before I lose track of it, uh, yeah, it shrinks, it used to shrink anyway, and do that, but how it, they should have done it is each program should have had a fade to black, and it should have, like, uh, how can I describe this? Like, somewhere in the chain of how it goes on to the T, how it like gets broadcast out, that's when it should have been activated, instead of it being activated when the uh, credit rolls halfway through. So that while it's been switched on, while this device that shrinks the credits was being, shrinked on, uh, was being switched on, it was literally causing lag in the credits being scrolling up and like rewinding them slightly and making the music skip and they kept it like this for six years honestly like 2000 2008 no it would be about 2006 yeah 2006 2012 no no it would have been eight years eight years no, it would have. It would have been six years. It would have been 2008 to 2014. For some reason, I was like 2012, 2016. That's correct. Yeah. No, I didn't. It was 2014 in the middle. <laughs> um, yeah. By the way, I, that was a glitch there. But you shouldn't do this. But it sort of worked because I'm surprised it worked. This a whole bunch of them being absorbed. Yeah? A whole bunch of them being knocked out here. A whole bunch of the the guys. But we just literally forced the hunters into dying, basically. I'm actually surprised it worked. Well, yeah, pe people were actually complaining that it was... I mean, it was, it was annoying, but there was this lag in the credits, and... To be honest, I didn't complain, but it was annoying. Because you could tell when it was about to happen. You could... The best was, like, you sometimes did get uh, credits where it didn't 
but they didn't switch the thing on for some reason. Oh yeah, live shows for some reason, they didn't shrink the credits. I mean, I guess that's understandable because they have no idea. They have no idea. Why, why wouldn't they actually have idea of when the credits were supposed to shrink for the uh, live show? Because surely, if it's live, there'll be people actually watching the, the program live to make sure that nothing goes wrong and to bleep things if people swear. If it's during the daytime, anyway. Anyway, it's towards the end of the video. I can't believe how off topic we got from Halo. Although, to be honest, that's really what this is. This is really just a podcast, a one man podcast where I talk about shit that's completely irrelevant for Halo for about nearly 20 minutes of video sometimes. So, there was one where it was half an hour, wasn't it? A couple of videos. Anyway, next level is, well, next part of the level is called Guardian. Stay tuned for that. Ciao.